this year at Rutgers just came to an end. You guys were in a bowl game a couple of weeks ago. Talk to me about how you guys started the season, how you finished up, and what the bowl experience was like. Yeah, so we we started the season hot, uh, three and zero. I think that was the best start to the season since twenty fourteen. We went on a little losing skid, you know, and um, I thought we could have won a lot of games. Honestly, we, we lost to Michigan by seven. We should have beat Northwestern. Um, you know, it was a lot of games that we could have won and we didn't. We didn't capitalize, so. You know, it hurts, honestly, because, like, season could have been way different. But at the same time, like, you got to just take it to the chin and take it as a learning experience and can't let it happen next year. Like, next year, we can't let any game slip from us, you know. And we we're still fortunate to go to a bowl game due to Texas a and having COVID. And we had a high uh, – our academic progress rate so much was the highest in the country. So we were the first team aligned to go. And that was the first bowl game for Rutgers since 2014, I think. So it was a great buzz around the program. You know, everybody was happy. Um, everybody was at home, too. We were all, we were all home. And, like, Christmas Eve, they're like, you, you guys need to come back tomorrow. You know, we're going to get right. And uh, let's go win this bowl game. So it was a great experience just seeing my teammates again because, you know, I probably would have never seen some of those seniors again unless they would have came to a game or something next season. But just being around the team again, it's a great experience because when are you going to be around 120 people, you know, all trying to win the same thing? Like, rarely in life, you know. So it was a great experience. I wish we would have won, honestly. But it was a good experience. We got to win the next bowl game next year. For sure. I'm excited to see what y'all do next year, what you do next year. Uh, I'm a fan of Rutgers football now since you got there, so – I'm excited to see what y'all bring to the table next year. I hope y'all can bounce back from the season that y'all had this year and have a better season next year for sure. Yes, sir. We're in the off season right now. Season just finished. I already know you're getting back to work probably slowly but surely not all the way. But talk to me about some of the things you want to work on and, like, be better at for next year personally and just what you're looking to do next season. Yeah, next year, um, I think coverage identity – um, it's the biggest thing. Uh, like in the Big Ten, a lot of teams rotate coverages pre-snap and post-snap. So just the ability to, to read out coverages. Okay, that free safety came down, it's cover five. Or the strong came down, it's three buzz. Or he buzzed out, you know, stuff like that. Or just knowing we have a cloud corner, how to power through the outside shoulder, not take an inside release. Um, knowing we're routes to have a mandatory outside release and an inside release and how that helps the quarterback's timing. That's that's all I'm working. I need to work on the little details. You know, uh, I know my strength coach has been getting faster, bigger, stronger. Um, like physically, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be the part because my strength coach is is great. He, he was actually my strength coach in, in high school for a year, so uh, I know he's going to get me right. But now I'm trying to take the mental aspect of, of the game of football to another level. You now I want to talk about how those guys talk about it in the league. You know, um, how they talk about coverages, how they talk about routes. Um, how do I talk about play concepts? Like that's that's my big emphasis. Just get the I want to know the playbook in and out. I want to know what the O line does. You know if it's a guard pool, like if it, if it's an A gap power run, like I want to know every single thing, not just my route and my play. How important is watching film to you and just watching football? Period. Like I feel like that for me personally, I watch I watch as much probably as much basketball as I can. Like I need I could I probably could watch I definitely could watch more, but. Every every day, pretty much, I'm watching different college basketball, NBA a little bit. Like NBA is a little bit different. I don't know how it is for college football and the NFL, but like the NBA is kind of it's kind of like it's kind of like all star. Like all every game is like an all star game compared to high school because people don't they play defense, they play hard, but it's just it's just different. It's kind of hard to explain. But how how much football do you try to take in and like how important is watching film to the process of what you just said that you want to work on? Yeah, so I've been uh actually like since I've been back, I've been trying to watch film every single day on my iPad. I brought my iPad home. And what I've been doing is going back to the games, watching my snaps, and then you know, some some of the games I didn't play because I was injured. So just seeing how those corners play, like I didn't play Michigan State or Illinois, and I know we're gonna play them next year. So I've been watching their corners, um, seeing how they're going to play, you know, seeing how they press, like their pre-snap alignment. Are they going to 
inside shade press, outside shade press. How does that determine the coverage? Um, so that's what I've been trying to work on. And also, I've been trying to watch a lot of film from the slot. Uh, I watch uh, – it's a slot on my team. His name is Aaron Crookshank. And he does a really good job of secondary releases, you know, uh, giving the move to, like, the overhangs and the, the Sam linebackers and the nickels who play on top of him. He does a great job of getting any release he wants. Just, of, like, his speed and his moves. So I've just been watching him, um, trying to take some ideas from him. I watch I watch all the receivers. I take ideas from everybody, like. I'm I'm quick to ask, you know, Shameen or Zay, like, hey, teach me this real quick. Teach me this. I'm trying to get a little something from everybody. But, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Like, you got to watch film because uh, it, it's just the key to the game. That's going to help you win. You got a few years left of your college career, one, two, a couple more years. COVID gave everybody extra year. But what do you see? Like, what are your plans for when you leave Rutgers, like, as far as football and outside of football? Like, where do you see yourself doing in a couple years? Yeah, I, I definitely want to play professional football, and that's that's still my goal. Um, I really think I can get there, you know, with the help of my coaches. And you know, the league we're playing is probably I think the Big Ten is the best the best conference in the league and in, in the whole country, honestly, um, just because of how the how the schedule is every week. So you know, if I can perform, perform against those guys week in and week out and be consistent, then I know I can play in the NFL. And uh, it's not any pressure, honestly, um, but it's more of like a, a lifelong dream that I want to, like, make come true. You know, it's been a dream of mine since I was five, six years old, you know. But um, after football is done, I definitely want to get into coaching, probably go back to my high school, be like an OC or something, if Coach Sal is still there. You know, I, I definitely just want to stay around the game of football, honestly. Like, I love football so much. For sure. I think I think that's definitely key that you got that goal in mind and you're doing what you need to do to obtain that goal. Like a lot of people have goals of going to the NBA, going to the NFL, doing this, doing that, but they're not putting the, the work in and taking the steps to get there. So I think, like we said, like how I asked what some stuff you want to work on going into the next season and just in general, like just you having an actual answer and having certain things that you want to put into work and that you want to work on is key. And I think, I think you make it if you just keep doing what you're doing and stay consistent. Like you said, you're on the biggest stage, one of the biggest stages possible. So playing against the best, competing against the best, showing up against the best, I think that's definitely in reach for sure. Just keep going, keep doing what you're doing, bro, for sure.